Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hey, check out this game I created It is called E-Game for Electrical Motor Control Course How did you do that? I built it in Unity software Come on, I'll show you But before that, I would like you to meet my teammate Dr. Nur Hanim Saad Abdullah, Sri Sumarwati, Nur Fatih Nadira Nur Hisam and also Muhammad Ismail Abdul Aziz Now, let me tell you the reason why we created this e-game Oh, before you ask, e-game is educational game Game-based learning is an effective way of teaching method for increasing student motivation and creativity in problem solving That's why we created this game I do agree with that I am also hooked on my smartphone and laptop every day playing game. Actually, this study aims to design, develop, design, develop, and test the functionality of e-game. This e-game is for the electrical motor control course at vocational colleges to assist the teaching and learning process. Look here, you can see all the components and all the wires here. The problem that comes with practicing motor control is the wiring part because it has two types. The first one is the control circuit and then the main circuit. Therefore, student needs to have emotion, stable emotional intelligence in completing project using early exposure and practical among types of components. That's why we make this game so that student will learn the the wires and also components first and then they can try and do it inside the game yeah teaching hands-on topics requires lecture stay with the students during the practical to provide practical guidance but how long teacher will stay with the students right therefore exposing the early stage of simulation on electrical motor control game-based learning is hopefully hopefully will help students to understand the main circuit and control circuit to be connected to different types of motor control without the presence of the teacher save time right well it's true i need longer time to understand the main circuit and the control circuit i'm really confused don't worry we are here to help we have conducted a preliminary study on the lecturers and teachers who taught this course on electrical motor control. The findings of this preliminary study found that lecturers had never used teaching aid in the form of video or game simulation. Some students are unable to complete the homework due to lack of knowledge of the wiring to be performed. Mm, many students connect to the main and control circuit to the motor without understanding the process. This will take two. It will take some time to finish the practical process. Therefore, we created this e-game based on the development life cycle (GDLC) model, supported by the behaviorism theory, because students will do this again and again. So the the model have several stages. Okay, first is the initiation and then the pre-production and then the production and testing and making the beta version and then we can release it so the testing the testing part is the production cycle where, where it combines the testing pre-production and production wow i'm i'm so excited to know more tell me more please sure so these are the phases of development until final product of this e-game. It started with the initial part where the ideation, where the ideas, concept. So this game is based on puzzle and uh, it uses drag and drop. And this is only in 2D because it's easy to make students see from the top. Okay, and the platform of this e-game is using smartphone. In the pre-development part, we focuses on the storyboard, on the design, how it can be played, and all the characters and interaction between players. And then in the development part, we use the graphics, 2D graphics assets such as character, background, and props. Now, this 2D graphic asset design is specification button, game background, 
main circuit and control circuit and also control a component and then we use this to create also the level of difficulty from the easy until the difficult then after the development part we go to the evaluation part evaluation is performed to test the functionality of several completed game phases for the evaluation part this e-game is given to three experts that already teaches electrical motor control for a very long time and they will comment on this e-game so they will play this game in the APK and they need to install it in their uh, smartphones and then videos of how to play this game also is provided so that the expert will know how to do it and then all the interactivity they will comment on several parts of the e-game and we will make the improvement from the game so from that we will make the beta version to be played this evaluation also to test the complete internal quality criteria can be done through uh, play testing together with the function test when the tester finds a problem while play testing the game needs to analyze to fix the problem this evaluation part is actually very helpful to make the game much more better before we give it to the beta version really appreciate the expert Phew, long list there. Now you understand, it's not easy to make e-game. Yep, very long process but satisfying experience. The final interface are as you can see here. Now, let us tell you the result of the study. The results of the evaluation are as shown here. This it is two parts the evaluation for design aspects and the evaluation for technical aspects it shows that all the experts are agree with these two parts there are also several results of the evaluation here is the evaluation for multimedia aspect and evaluation for interactive interactive aspect want to know the conclusion the result showed that almost all of the assessment items were approved by experts in all four aspects Additionally, improvements have been made after this e-game was evaluated to improve the e-game development. The results also indicate that this e-game is suitable for students for in electrical motor control courses. This project provides a real learning simulation environment that allows users to learn something and something on their own. Hopefully, this e-game can give something to the world of TVET. Thank you for your time. Thank you for explaining to me. Hopefully, we can create more e-games together. Well, everybody, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the video. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.